Welcome back once again to Broke Ass EDC, home of the Working Stiffs Everyday Carry, and whatever else I can manage to pull out of them folks over at YouTube and them groups. I mean, the YouTube, Facebook groups. Well, really, flung that one, then. So, got another Migron knife. This one here, Kix 2. This one's a little bit on the pricey side, but titanium M390, sheep's foot. Mm, mm, mm. This thing, micro milling, can't hardly really see it, but boy, you can feel it. Big back spacer action, frame lock. Little pivot treatment. M390. This thing's under 200 bucks. Uh, tell me, somebody's lying to me. Somebody's lying. Overall, 7.79 inches. Blade length, 3.25. Of that M390 plain edge. It's got a high end sandblasting finish to it. Coming in at 59 to 61 in HRC. And handle length of that black titanium, 4.68 inches. And it says it's got a little sandblasting on that front flipper. This damn tip up pocket carry titanium animal comes in at 3.9 ounces. So there's the rundown in the old data spec department but oh that thing in the hand is business like i said got that micro milling so it feels good and solid front flipper no problem but i think i prefer to flick it yep look at that drop mm, straight into the detent You can thumb it. If I, I'd be better if I keep this damn big fat pointer finger off that damn lock bar. But, but definitely got the fidget factor. That pocket clip goes way up, so it's leaving. It's deep carry. I mean, you're pretty much nothing but the screw holes all that that's left to uh, hang out of the pocket. Dead. Look at that dead center. They're they're taking care of the business right there. Lock up, no play on the on the side to side, or the, the up and down. Can't get nothing. Uh, I'm gonna no. I ain't worried about spine whacking it. It's feeling solid. When I'm cutting, I'm not coming back up. Pat Paul said, "Always cut away from yourself." This thing is, uh, it feels good in the hand. I mean, even my big mitts on it, you're getting all four fingers on the back part of the handle. A little bit of jimping back here, so it's kind of a cramp grip if you want to get on the jimping. I stretch out, extend the thumb to get that solid pressure. It feels good. The blade has is, is got a little bit of smoothness to it, so you're not feeling no rough edges on, from the grind. You can choke up on it. Feels pretty good for in the choke up grip, even with the fat finger on it. You don't feel like you're on the verge of digging that that sharp blade in the in the uh, in the side of your finger. And man, she is sharp. It's not. They're not playing that M three ninety's got a good edge on it. This thing was definitely a pleasure surprise. Uh, it and that uh, budget banger that I. Uh, Either you have or you haven't seen the video for yet. Not sure which order these went up in. They got thrown in on a trade, and I'd been intrigued, but I was like, I don't know, man. There's no way I can drop 180 bucks on a damn knife that I ain't ever heard of. Bam, 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 sir. That is a steal. If you can find one, throw a little bit of uh, throw a little broke code on it and knock. A little bit of money off of it and man you, you're talking about you've got a lifelong partner in that m390 and this titanium 
good solid work knife ready to to lock it down let's see here a little bit of milling out to knock her down and and get the weight little weight loss on it and that back spacer hits well oh uh, uh, what did we forget here yeah we forgot a damn lanyard hole but it might be a deal breaker for some but it sure ain't for me hardware is all at a minimum i mean you've got just a uh the main screw here in the back two on the front you got the pivot in this one in the back and then you're one holding the uh lock bar spacer in and then the uh the pocket clip so it's dead on nothing over the top on the blade just a little m390 business so for sure got a little class to it to boot I gotta say, it is a solid banger at that price. Well, that one went quick, folks. Drop a comment. With uh, which one of these Megron knives do you think I should hit next? Which one of these uh, you've been scanning through the old interweb pages and saw? Man, I'd like to see that one. We'll see, uh, because I definitely gotta hit this again. I gotta hit this brand again. They've got some interesting blade shapes and the money can be right at times uh smash that thumbs up button and uh if if you haven't subscribed throw the subscribe on there man that's how that's how i get the ladies you know what i mean so stay sharp stay safe